Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. And in this video, we're going to uh, it's going to be part of our chess creation uh, series as well. Uh, this video is actually you probably have already seen the chess piece tutorial of the other one, uh, or vice versa. There, there's two of them. Uh, this one, however, is not the standard method that you would probably create. We're going to use a modifier to create most of this, and it's actually a little bit more unique. Uh, we're going to use a screw modifier. It's going to emulate the exact uh, process that you would do like a lathe in other softwares. I think Cinema 4D does something on the same lines as and Maya does it where you can create uh, a line and then it will uh, lathe it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started by creating our pawn. Uh, start up a new Blender file. Uh, delete the cube and go to the front view. We're going to add a plane and we're just going, oops, dang it. Uh, maybe if you clicked off of that and you couldn't hit align to view, hit 3 on your numpad, R90, and that will make it face you in the front view. Okay, sweet. So now let's go into edit mode and I'm going to move it all the way over here and delete those two vertices. So now we have a line. Uh, let's go to the modifier tab and click add modifier subdivision. Not, yeah, subdivision is a good one. Uh, have, that's not the one I was actually going for, but you will need that one as well. Uh, and then the screw. You can see it's screwing it across this axis. Uh, we don't want it to be this axis or this axis. However, we want it to be this axis, which is the uh, x axis. Uh, nope, wrong. <laughs> Z act. What do we just have? Oh, X, Y. Okay, the only one that I uh, was skipping over. So now we have a cylinder, which is a lot like what we worked with in the other one. Uh, now we can just grab this one vertice and we can extrude that one vertice up and do the same thing that we did before, which is kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to start by doing just that. I'm going to open up this for my reference and I can also show you what it's going to look like as we go through. Um, so let's do, let's go out, oh there we go, let's go out here, go in here, go out and in, and then in uh, maybe here and go straight up. You can lock the axes by if you have if you're moving it just by hitting Z or Y or X, whatever axis you want. But mainly Z on this Z or X. You probably don't ever want Y right now. Uh, then uh, let's do what? Let's see what other vertices we got here. We got this one, this one, this one. Let's go. E, and I'm going to lock it to the X axis just to go straight out and go up by locking it to the Z axis and then in here ish and then we're going to create our circle or our sphere up here and then just bring it as close as you can to the center. Sweet, so now if we go to solid view we have the basic shape of the thing and now this one, uh, loop cuts, they do work. Uh, they're, I don't know, they're not really called loop cuts in this because they're not loops. Uh, but we, we can uh, cut the lines in half. Uh, it doesn't, however, let us slide it right then. But if we just hit G, we can move it, right? But if we hit G again, then we can slide it. So just uh, Control R, click, and double tap G. Control R, click and double tap G. Control R, click and double tap G. Control R, click, double tap G. It's a little bit more of a hassle this way, maybe. Uh, oh, I didn't actually want that there. I want this to be more round. I'm going to turn up our subdivision just a little bit to give it a little bit nicer result as we're working. You can do the same if you wish. But it's uh, the main, it's the same uh, kind of process here. So, okay, that I do not like. Let's bring 
these in a little bit and these a little bit. This is what's actually really cool about this uh, modifier is I think it's easier to edit later. Uh, this is just my personal thing here. If you put one in that you want to get rid of, you can either undo or you can just click on it and hit uh, dissolve vertice and it will just dissolve it, which is kind of nice. Uh, so it's connected there. Put that there and bring that there. Bring that closer in here. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's way easier to edit. That would have been not necessarily a nightmare, but that would have been a lot harder to edit before. Oh, now I got it looking like a weird. Needs to be taller. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay, so now we can keep on uh, editing it here. Double tap G and grab those, move them in a little bit. Double tap G. Go back into solid mode. Control R, double tap G, move it up. Control R, double tap G. Okay, now we're here. We can just, this one's actually easier to up here now uh, to edit these things the way we want it to look like. Uh, kind of a ball. Uh, yeah, so it's not it's not perfect uh, by any means. Uh, however, you can spend the time making it. This is, I think, easier to edit things and get proportions right than it was before. Um, oh, that's what we needed right there. This needs to be Something like that. That looks a little bit better. Um, also, in in solid, you don't have to even go into wireframe, really. In solid, you can actually select probably most of the vertices. It looks like there was one in here that I couldn't get. But most of the vertices, you should probably be able to work with within solid mode, which is kind of nice. Um, so now I just want to take another thing to look at real quick. You can see around here, these are uh, pretty low poly, I guess is what you'd say. Uh, however, if you increase subdivision, it doesn't do anything, and that's because we have to screw after it. So all you have to do, I'm gonna type in, take it from 16 to maybe like 50, and that should round out the things. And the other cool thing is, it's already clicked on smooth shading, so right clicking and shading smooth won't really do much. I uh, should be good to go. Uh, the subdivision over here is just going to make uh, this part more rounded. It's going to give it more resolution this way, whereas the screw gives it more resolution this way, I guess what you'd say. So, uh, hopefully you have learned something from this modifier tutorial. Uh, and uh, like it like down in there, you subscribe, do all that fun jazz if you want to, uh, and we hope to see you next time on Blender Know How. Stay tuned for more uh, chess pieces, and we'll see you next time.